What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about iOS 6 Guided Access Mode. This is a new feature in iOS 6, of course, that works now in iOS 6 Beta 2. So we're gonna test it out. Just open up your Settings app. You wanna to go to the General tab there, and then you wanna scroll down until you see Accessibility. So tap on Accessibility. And then once you're in accessibility, you should see under learning guided access. So that is off by default. All you need to do is tap on guided access here and then we can enable it right here. So guided access basically keeps the iPad in a single app, like sort of like a kiosk mode and allows you to control which elements are available in that app to use by the end user. To start guided access, of course, you need to set up a pass passcode so that you can restrict your users from getting out of guided access mode, etc. You can also enable sleep if you want to do that or disable it. It's off by default. So let's go ahead and open up an app and enable guided access. To do so, just open the app and triple tap your home button just like this. And what's going to happen, the screen's going to zoom out a little bit, then you're going to get this little you know, interface that allows you to set up guided access mode. You can actually turn off touch screen capability all together if you choose to do that. Notice what happens, you'll see guided access started and now I can't touch anything on the screen whatsoever. My access is completely restricted when you disable touch. And you can also disable the accelerometer by turning off the motion option as well. You notice here in the bottom right hand corner, there's motion. So you can turn that off if you wanna do so as well. Now you can also selectively disable certain elements within the app just by drawing on the screen. Notice this here, I'm just gonna draw a little rectangle or a sort of a rectangle at least. It kind of conforms to a rectangle appearance to help you out there for you who are less skilled in the artistic department. But then you can drag that rectangle, you can resize it, you can show exactly what you want to disable. So I've disabled the main screen elements, I've enabled or kept the the buttons on the screen enabled, as you can see. Notice I cannot drag or do anything right here on the main screen, but at the top, the buttons, I can interact with those. If I choose to do that, I can also interact with the buttons at the bottom of the screen because I did not disable those. Notice like the little, little slashes, the slash line pattern going through the main portion of the screen. That indicates that that is what you disabled via guided access. So again, to disable that, just triple tap the home button and then you enter your passcode. And that's pretty much it, folks. That is how you use guided access in iOS 6 beta. Hope this was informative to kind of show you exactly why you would wanna use guided access. If you're in running a store or say you had a kiosk set up, you can see why it would be useful, can't you? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.